Hi everyone, happy new week. How is everyone today? I'm excited for day one of my five days to better health and wellness challenge. And today is all about deep breathing. I will share with you three simple uh, breathing techniques that I've been using for a long time and that have definitely helped me um, on my wellness journey, but also every day. So I'm so excited for everyone who is joining in on my five days of better health and wellness challenge, celebrating my birthday month along with everyday wellness. Um, I just love to celebrate health and wellness. It is so essential to take care of your body and your mind and your spirit. And um, today I will share with you day one all about deep breathing. If you'd like to get a free copy of my ebook, there is a link in my bio that you can join um, and I will send it to you. So I am really excited. Thank you so much for everyone who is joining me today. Uh, if you have any questions, there'll be a live Q&A at the end or you can leave them down below or if you're watching this later, no problem. You can um, just DM me anytime or email me any questions that you have. Um, so today I will start, I really like to begin all of my um, wellness journey tips and simple things that you can incorporate into your everyday wellness. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I was saying that today is day one of my five days to better health and wellness challenge and I am sharing all about deep breathing and I will share three of my um, easy techniques that I use a lot and I'm sure you'll find them to be helpful as well. Um, and the reason why I love to just start with breathing techniques is because your breath is like life pretty much and it is just so amazing that deep breathing, conscious breathing can totally shift your energy. It can um, just enhance so much of your life bringing you more into the present moment. It also allows to reduce stress. It also is, helps with anxiety. It also, um, what, it, it like gets rid of toxins and so many amazing things. Um, and I really have um, loved to share along my own journey is that when I began really focusing on my health and wellness, I didn't even realize how essential that deep breathing is and I was really out of place being so stressed and living really in flight or fight mode all the time and um, I was actually in therapy and my the woman that I was with she had made a comment saying do you notice your breath and I'm like what what are you talking about <laughs> of course I noticed my breath and actually when I stopped I realized that I was not noticing it and it was very tight and it was just not really there and not deep at all and uh, from that moment on, I began to really become more aware of my breathing and how much that it shifts you from living in that stressful flight or fight way of being to being more calm and present and in the parasympathetic nervous system. Um, I will go more into that in detail, but you know, at the time it was just really that shift in paying attention to is uh, am I taking a deep breath or am I not? <laughs> and um, we are, I know for myself, we get just so busy, things are going on and there's just so much coming at us all over the place. And when you really take the time to be conscious of your breath, it really brings you to the present moment. And um, even though I was practicing, this was many years ago, a lot of yoga and all that kind of stuff, I would go to yoga class, but I feel like I was just there. I wasn't fully practicing it. And when I had uh, received that insight from being in that therapy session about my breath, everything really kind of shifted along the way. And um, yes, in yoga, and I'm a certified yoga teacher and meditation teacher, and in learning those uh, techniques, I use them in my everyday um, life. And I've kind of just like, you know, shortened them or made them my own. So today I will share with you three of um, simple ones that I really um, incorporate into my everyday life and the reason too why I start with uh, deep breathing is because it is really just it could just immediately bring you to the present moment and when you even just close your eyes and you take a deep breath in 
and then you exhale, but you're breathing from your belly up to your chest and then from your chest down to your belly. It really is taking in so much oxygen. It is nourishing your body and your mind and everything is just starting to relax and come into the present moment. And I just know that I go through my day and sometimes I'm all over the place and really just having these practices um, there is just so much power into taking time to notice in your breath, taking deep breaths, and um, I will share with you my three things, uh, breathing techniques that I have found to be very helpful. Uh, first thing is like when you wake up in the morning, I think it's really so essential to not go look at your phone right away and all of that stuff and just be present and taking three deep breaths and practicing gratitude. It really just sets the tone for your day. It really, really does. I really encourage you to give that a try. Um, so in the morning, I like to practice, um, you know, just three deep breaths. And usually like throughout the day, that's usually my instant thing. If you could just even, if you're feeling stressed and you close your eyes and take three deep breaths or you're overwhelmed or you're um, just feeling low on energy or whatever it may be, uh, maybe you just want to take a few moments because you're scatterbrained and all that kind of stuff. If you just close your eyes and take three deep breaths, it makes such a tremendous difference. And I'm talking about like really just being present and going deep in three deep breaths. I even practiced that before I eat with mindfully eating. Um, my second one is one that I have recently shared as well. Uh, I recently, a few months ago, became a um, certified Chopra meditation teacher. And while I was in my teacher training, I learned um, that Deepak Chopra created this thing called stop. And I think it's just so powerful, so simple, and so easy. So at moments when you're feeling maybe like stress, overwhelmed, anxiety, tired, or not knowing what to do, or what direction to take, it's very simple. You just say the word stop, <laughs> and then you smile, because the minute you smile, it changes your energy. I'm telling you, like, try it. So if you start to feel a certain way, just say it out loud. I say it out loud, and I say stop and you smile, and then you take three deep breaths, uh, observe how you're feeling, like, am I feeling tired? Am I feeling stressed? Am I feeling sad? Am I feeling anxiety? Whatever it may be, like observing it, it really just gives it the energy on what it is. And then you can also um, observe to why maybe you're feeling that way. Are you tired because maybe you stayed up late the night before, or maybe you're feeling stressed because you have things going on in your life, taking care of elderly parents or a newborn or whatever it may be but if you observe observe how you're feeling and after you take those three deep breaths you're more in a calmer place to like address it from uh, really more of a non-judgmental way and then the P stands for proceed with loving kindness so we're all gonna have these things going on all the time and I have found that little stop technique to be just so helpful and so insightful and so easy to do um, so I encourage you to give that one a try too. That's been very helpful. And then my, um, there's two other ones that I definitely box breathing, which I'm sure you heard of before, but it is inhaling for the count of four and then you hold for four and then you exhale for four and then you hold for four and you repeat that four times. And that is just one definitely when you are feeling very overwhelmed or anxious, it really, for myself, has helped me a lot, and especially flying, I'm not a big fan of flying, but I definitely practice that when the plane is in turbulence and all that kind of stuff, and it, and it really, really helps. So um, I will definitely, after I go share with you one more breathing technique, I will practice them with you, and you're welcome to join in with me, whether you're here live or at a later time, and um, then maybe pick one of these that would be beneficial for you throughout your day, and just give it a try because it really, really does make a difference. And when you take deep breaths, uh, your whole body just starts to relax, and you start to be more present and calmer and focused, and um, you you definitely step into the flow of life so much more and. Um, it definitely is something that I do on a daily basis, have to come back to in the morning and be present. And I actually do, one tip that I share is I set alarms on my phone so that throughout the day, I um, well, they will go off and it will remind me to stop for a moment and take a deep breath and stop, smile, take deep breaths, observe how I'm feeling, and then proceed with loving kindness. 
Um, and that is also to the thing when you are breathing deeply, you are open, like open to receive. And when you're shallow breathing, it's like everything is tight off, like just shut off and very tense and you're kind of letting things you know, not really come into you. So there's so many benefits of deep breathing and keeping yourself open. And when you're open to receive, um, you know, life is just so much better that way. And yes, all these things take time and practice and consciousness to become aware of what you're doing throughout the day. But once you incorporate it, it's just like all those little things that you do every day that help you to be more um, present and uh, really just being there for not only yourself present in your life, but everybody else in your life when we all have these things going on. And then the last one is, um, I recently learned this one as well when uh, I was studying to do the um, science of stretching with the uh, yoga body. And it's such an amazing technique about holding your stretches for two to five minutes. And it really does allow your body to um, relax into a pose and really make um, long-term changes and shifts in your mobility. And um, when I was studying that, there's this technique, breathe to relax. And I really love to do this one later on at night because I'm very big in my evening routine and getting myself set up for a nice sleep because having a good night's sleep is just so essential for your well-being. It helps to restore all the cells in your body and um, just replenish and rejuvenate so it's really important for me to get a really good night's sleep so at night i do this breathing uh, breathe to relax technique and that is counting in for the count of four through your nose and then you exhale um, for the count of out eight through your mouth with the ha sound and i repeat that like four times and um i mean it's a the any of these techniques you're welcome to use them at any time during your day but for myself, I really like in the morning when I first wake up, I just take like three deep conscious breaths and being gra grateful and practicing gratitude um, in the morning. And then usually the um, box breathing, <laughs> the four in and out and the hold, that one for bo the box breathing. And then along with the stop technique, I kind of use that one throughout the day a lot. Um, and I set alarms on my phone to um, just kind of touch base and take some deep breaths and get fresh oxygen into my um, body and my mind and especially if I'm working all day and sitting in front of my computer like standing up and I, I share a lot on my stories about just going outside and like looking up at the sky and taking deep breaths and being grateful for things in your life it just gives you so much of an energy fill and shifts your perspective on so many things um, and then the breathe to relax is the one that I usually like to do at the end of the night so um, this is day one of the five days to better health challenge and it's all about deep breathing. So I will share with you my connection. Oh, I hope I'm here. Uh, I just said I had not very good connection. So I hope that I'm still here. <laughs> um, but yes, what I'll do is I will share with you um, the practices. So the first one is really in the morning, like even when you first wake up, I just like take deep breath from my belly up to my chest and then from my chest to my belly and I usually um oh you're welcome thank you for joining me live um so taking just three deep breaths and sometimes even if you want you can place your left hand on your belly your right hand on your heart and just close your eyes and let's just do it together and you can just take a deep breath as you feel it feel your stomach inhale And one more time, inhale as you feel your belly fill up all the way up to your chest and then you exhale. And then open your eyes and that one is just so simple and easy and revitalizing. Um, and then the second one is the stop technique. So for example, you know, if you're going about your day and um, maybe you are just feeling you have so many projects going on and you're feeling overwhelmed and you don't really know which one to work on next or where you're putting your focus and your energy, you can just stop. And usually I say out loud, stop. And then I smile and 
and then I will observe how I'm feeling. So I may say to myself, like, why are you feeling so um, overwhelmed with right now with all these projects? And it could be because in the morning I set up too many expectations for the day, or maybe I didn't really prepare the night before on what was important for me to work on the next day. So I start working on all these different things as opposed to the one thing that I said I wanted to get done. Um, or maybe it's just that I am just taking on too much and I'm all, all over the place. I'm not really staying focused on what I'm doing at the time and multitasking. So I'm just observing how and why I'd be feeling that way. And then I will just proceed with loving kindness and I will just say, okay, so maybe now for the next 20 minutes, hour, I'm going to work on this. And uh, maybe I will rem remind myself if I didn't the night before write out the three things I wanted to get done the next day to just be conscious to do that later. But whatever it is and just proceed and know that it's okay and he'll just keep moving forward. So that's a great one. And then there is the um, box breathing. So I invite you to close your eyes. And what we're gonna do is inhale for the count of four through your nose. And we're gonna hold it for four. And then we will exhale through our nose for four, hold for four, and then repeat that four times. So I invite you to close your eyes. And let's breathe in through our nose for the count of four. One, and then hold, two, three, four. Exhale through your nose, four, three, two, one. Hold, one, two, three, four. Inhale through your nose, one, two, three, four. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, one, two, three, four, inhale through your nose, three, two, one, hold, two, three, four, exhale through your nose, four, three, two, one, hold, Three, four, one more time. Inhale through your nose. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale through your nose. Four, three, two, one. And hold, one, two, three, four. And slowly open your eyes and bring yourself back into the present moment and that is the um, box breathing technique. And then the last one I will share with you is the breathe to relax. And um, you will repeat this like three, four times, however many times you like to, but this is one I like to do at the end of um, the night. It really just helps to set the tone for um, my uh, night sleep routine and wind down routine. And it really does allow you to tap into the parasympathetic parasympathetic nervous system. Um, our body is uh, made up of the um, sympathetic nervous system, which is the flight or fight. And we do the need that sometimes in our lives. But the thing is, is that this is what goes on a lot, that we live in this flight or fight response all day long. And when we practice deep breathing, techniques or meditation and yoga and mindfulness, all those things bring us into the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest and the calm and the center and the focus and the present um, awareness way of being. So these techniques really allow you to get into that space and at night this uh, breathe to relax is really great. So what you'll do is um, you will close your eyes and we're going to inhale through our nose, two, three, Four, and then you're going to open your mouth and ha out the exhale for the count of eight. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale through your nose. Two, three, four. Open your mouth. Exhale, ha out sound for eight. Seven, six, five, four three, two, one. 
And you can repeat that as many times as you like, but that is um, my last breathing technique that I am sharing that I find to be really easy, helpful ones that you can incorporate um, into your everyday wellness. And so that was day one of our five days of better health and wellness challenge. Um, each day I will meet you here live and I will share with you another wellness tip. And each day we will add in something new, but we will also keep up with the ones that we learned the day before. So today is all about deep breathing. Tomorrow will be all about staying hydrated. So I encourage you to try some of these breathing techniques I shared with you today. As always, if you have any questions, you can uh, message me. And also there is a link in my bio or I'll leave a link down here if you would like for me to send you my free five days um, to better health ebook. I'm happy to do that. And uh, thank you so much for everyone that was able to join me live here today. I am so grateful. I'm sending lots of love and light and I'll see you guys tomorrow on my live. Bye everyone.